Hi guys, my name is Alana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mental Health with Alana. If you are new here, please click the red subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and also check out my business where I create sensory boxes for mental health issues and disabilities. If you want to check out my store, I have a link down below. Um, and it would mean a lot to me if you would go and check out my website. It has a lot of um, mental health help and advice on there as well. So for today, I'm so excited about this video. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been waiting and waiting to film this. So exciting. And I'm going to be showing you guys my new walking stick. And I have been waiting for this in the mail for like <laughs> three or four four weeks I think because it came from the UK um, and they're made specifically to order so for your height. Um, I will be showing you my collapsible walking stick like my, my foldable one first and then I'll be showing you my new one that I'm extremely happy about. Oh my gosh so excited. But um, yeah, this is going to be all about my mobility aids. Um, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Alana. I'm 23. I have mental health conditions and currently am being investigated for um, some health issues that I'm having. So um, th that is the reason why I've suddenly started using a walking stick because I know I've never obviously used one on here before or mentioned it. But in the last month or so, I've needed to use one. Um, due to health reasons so yeah I thought that I would get like a really fancy one but I'm going to show you this one first so this one is a very cheap one that I got at my local chemist it's pink it has this um, kind of L-shaped handle in a way I don't know if you call it L-shaped but I can't think of the right word um, it is a pink spark it's, it is slightly sparkly I'm not sure if the camera will pick up on it, but this one is foldable. So this walking stick has little knobs on here where you can actually adjust the height. And then at these places here, you can fold it up. And this is the ferrule. I don't know if that's the right word, the way to say it, but I think it is. At the bottom of the um, walking stick, it's quite disgusting actually. There's a lot of dust in my room and no matter how much I dust and vacuum, the dust reappears again, like two days later. So just don't mind dust. Uh, very dusty where I live. So anyway, this was only $25 and I got it from my local chemist. It's adjustable so that's great because you can obviously adjust it to your height. Um, now, I'm going to say the, the pros and cons of this. So the reason why I bought it was that um, I needed something in the meantime before my other one came. Second reason is because I'm going on holiday in February and I cannot take a not foldable walking stick with me because there's no way of getting it past security because you have to put obviously everything in those trays. So getting a fold up one means that I can fold it up put it in the tray through security, put it in my handbag if I want, it fits in there. Um, if I decide that I don't want to use it while we're out or if I don't need it or if it, for whatever reason. Um, so that's why I got a foldable one. Now this was my first time using a walking stick and I actually realized that I'm, I've probably been using it um, at the wrong height. I think it's a little bit too tall. Um, I think my shoulder has kind of been going up a bit like this. Um, so I will adjust this to see if it works any better. I did research a lot before buying my second stick about how to measure. And I did exactly what multiple websites plus the actual website said. But for some reason, a lot of people's online look a lot taller than what I have. So I'm kind of confused. Um, I'm going to go into a mobility aid store. Um, next week and bring my walk like the next walking stick up I'm about to show you and ask them just if it's the right height or not um, It does feel like the right height, but just so when I looked at other people's it looked like theirs was taller But I'm very short. I'm 155 centimeters. So I was like, maybe that's that's a thing. I don't know anyway the pros of this is that it folds it's um, compact 
um, you can take it kind of anywhere with you, you can put it in your handbag. The cons is that because it is foldable, it's not very sturdy. So it does kind of rattle around when you do this and when you do lift it up to walk, it is not very uh, strong or sturdy. It does move a bit. The other major thing that I really dislike about this handle is that it gives me quite bad wrist pain because I'm holding it kind of like this or even like that, but normally like this. And it puts a lot, see your wrist is very bent and it puts a lot of strain on your wrist. Now with these type of walking sticks, due to the handle, your weight is being distributed forwards instead of directly down the stick, which also puts pressure on other muscles and uh, joints and shoulders, wrist, that type of thing. But this walking stick is not a stick that I'm going to be using every day. It is specifically made for when we need to go on holiday or you know, some sort of situation where I need it to fold. So that's enough about this one. Now let's get on to my very exciting one. This walking stick is from a company called Neo Walks. It is in based in the UK and I had heard about this, uh, you know, company for a while. I follow a lot of people online who have disabilities and I saw these walking sticks everywhere and I was like, Oh my gosh, I need one. So, I was very bold and brave and I got this gorgeous red one. It is absolutely adorable. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it actually has little like bubbles inside, which is so cute. It's so pretty. This is like perfect, this walking stick. I picked the question mark handle. As you can see, it's like a question mark. You can get different type of handles. And they do just give a description of what the handles kind of do. I did a lot of research and people did say that this handle was the best. As when you hold it, again, see your wrist is straight, your arm is straight, and the weight gets distributed directly down the stick. Now this is made of acrylic. It is very sturdy. Um, it is a bit heavier than obviously the other one, but oh my gosh, using this one, is so much better than the other one. This is so sturdy, it's so stable. I've used it on grass, um, on concrete, on um, kind of un un uneven pavements um, in the city, um, stuff like that. And so far it's been really great. I haven't used it that much because I haven't been out very often. I only got this delivered, um, I think two days ago. And when I came in the mail, I was literally screaming. I was so happy. Um, I'd been like tracking it like, oh my gosh, when is it coming? So yeah, this is my walking stick. It does look short, but that is also because I am a very short person. It could be the wrong height though. I'm not 100% sure. I was extremely stressed about the fact that it could be the wrong height because obviously it is not adjustable. Also, this is very big, which means that and it's actually like a robot sort of like grippy thing, which is really good because it grips to the ground really well. Um, and I find this way more stable just in general. Um, then I also ordered this gorgeous sparkly confetti um, wristband that also comes off their website. And um, basically I just use it like this and then I put my hand like that. And then I just go walking, walking away, you know, walking slow, but walking anyway. Um, but yeah, so I just can't stop looking at it. Honestly, I just get so excited when I use it. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so excited about a walking stick, I know. Um, I'm planning on buying the purple one, the amethyst one. Um, I actually was so torn between this red one and the purple one. The purple one is extremely popular. I bought this stick based off the clothes that I wear. So I wear mostly black, burgundy, red, um, and I think that's kind of it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I dress um, very, this this shirt isn't, this is my Christmassy, me trying to be Christmassy thing, you know, green shirt, red walking stick, um, but no. Uh, I, I usually dress, if you go to my Instagram, that grunge girl, you'll see that I dress very um, 90s kind of style. So I kind of go with the colors from the 90s. 
Um, but yeah, I have a lot of like burgundy, like red wine clothes and then all like black. Um, so I thought that this would be perfect and I dress a bit alternatively as well. Um, so I thought this would be perfect with my style. Um, and it's quite bold and out there and it looks very pretty. Um, and I really like red. But I do want to get the purple one, so I will be ordering that. It's currently out of stock. Um, but yeah, I'm as soon as it comes back in stock, I'm going to be ordering it too. So I have two different ones to choose from. Um, and I also bought this purple sparkly strap to go on the purple one when I do get it. Um, so yeah, you just clip this onto the stick wherever you want and you can use this as its um, thing. And it's great because if you need to... Um, you know, get your handbag or whatever it is. Um, you just put your arm in it and then you just leave it like this and get stuff out. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, the company is called Neo Walks. I will put their website and information in the below box. There are plenty of sticks to choose from. Like, so many different types. You can get all sorts of patterns, colours... Um, ones that have glitter, ones that have bubbles, ones that are clear, ones that are solid, um, every color imaginable. You can pick different um, ends for them. There's a million different wristbands that you can pick. Um, there are just so many options and I wrote an email asking about when the amethyst purple one was going to go back in store and I got an email pretty much the next day. Um, super nice email. From one of their team members and I thought that was really nice. I couldn't say anything more about this company. They're amazing and um, there's a lot of people online. It's a big community who use these and um, it's nice to be a part of that community and to feel a bit less alone um, because I think when you're young and you have to resort to using mobility aids there's a lot of stigma and ableism that come with it and I think having you know I, I suppose a lot of people are probably like well why do you need such a fancy walking stick? And for me, it's all about confidence and, you know, making it not look so medical. Like, yes, I'm using it for a medical reason, but that doesn't mean that it can't be pretty, you know. And I think owning it, making it your own, um, getting it in the color you like that makes you feel confident and comfortable and using it, I think it just helps you to become more um, confident and happy within yourself and... I mean, it's, it's exciting. Who doesn't want a fancy walking stick? Like, come on, you know? Um, so, yeah, but when I do order the purple one and I get it in the mail, I will be um, showing you that, making another video on it, of me unboxing it and everything. So, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, if you have any questions about the company or about my walking stick, please comment down below. If you want to check out my Instagram, my main Instagram for fashion is called That Grunge Girl. My mental health account is Mental Health with Alana. Everything is linked down below and in my link tree. Um, and yeah, I am super excited to keep on using this walking stick. Thank you so much for watching the video and thank you for all your support and all your love and your comments. It means a lot to me. I hope everyone has a really great Christmas um, and a happy new year and I will see you in my next video.